Hello and welcome to Photoshop CS6 Quick Start. My name is Serge Mali. I'm a French photographer living in Paris, but I've lived in the United States for quite some time. And today we're going to tackle the new Photoshop CS6 and most of its great new features. This is a quick start course, so we're not going to go into all the details of Photoshop CS6, but this should give you a good start to get all these new features into actions. We're going to start off by uh, tackling the new Camera 7 and uh, we're going to take a few photos. For example, we're going to take these photos and using all the new features in Camera 7, we're going to get this result here. Uh, it's a pretty uh, decent result compared to where we came from. There is a lot of new features in Camera 7 which are very powerful. For example, we're going to take this photo and uh, we're going to turn it just using Camera 7 options into this photo. So, and turn it into this photo uh, using camera 7 and then we're going to look at a new filter which is uh, for correcting uh, uh, wide angle shots F so we're going to take this shot and we're going to turn it into this shot a complete different uh, shot where we corrected all the wide angles troubles and also we did some retouching in camera 7 we're going also going to take this shot and we're going to turn it into this shot then we're going to see how to do some HDR. We're going to take this three exposures of an old kitchen from the 19th century and we're going to use some HDR functions in Photoshop CS5 and also in Photomatics to get this result. Uh, quite different. Then we're going to tackle some black and white. So we're going to go from this photo and turn it into this photo. And then we're going to take this photo and turn it into this photo. Uh, quite a difference in black and white. And then we're going to do some composite and use some of the new blur filter which exists in camera O. We're going to take this gentleman and with this background we're going to create a special background filter using the new blur filter and this is the final result. See how it's all blurred out and how we have the feeling that we used a big glass lens to take this photo. And uh, we're also going to look into the new lighting features to take uh, this poor lighted photo and turn it into this photo, you know, making all these highlights on the background using this new lighting filter. Uh, there are also other options we're going to tackle, uh, many little tricks uh, we're going to go over, and this should give you a good head start on using this incredible new software, Photoshop C6. So I invite you to get started.